For the first time in several years, we're hearing publicly from those in charge of the proposed Texas Central High Speed Rail Project. The CEO spoke out on Wednesday against a proposed bill that would require rail operators to disclose their funding and financing methods on an annual basis. News 3's Donnie Tuggle joins us in the News Center with the very latest. Donnie. Yeah, good evening, Katie and Rusty. The House Transportation Committee heard complaints from local officials and landowners on the proposed route about Texas Central's lack of transparency. In response, the company's CEO argued that making businesses provide confidential information is unprecedented and feels that only like an attempt to stop the project. Landowners testified during a hearing Wednesday on House Bill 2357, saying the project has been pending for more than a decade and it is preventing them from using or selling their property. They called for the proposed legislation to hold companies accountable and increase transparency. However, the CEO of Texas Central argued that the bill was unnecessary and they already report to federal agencies. The federal agency overseeing the project has stated its intent to review the financial feasibility of the project as part of its thorough review to approve the project, as it does with other projects of this nature. In light of this, the additional regulatory burden this bill presents for a project is redundant, unnecessary, and would create risks to companies looking to engage in such critical infrastructure development. Members of the House Transportation Committee didn't shy away from sharing their frustrations with Texas Central. I'll have that part of the story tonight at 10. In studio, Donnie Tuggle, News 3. Donnie, thank you.